I feel like that's gone down to number two in my all-time favorite hair products list and my new number one favorite product, drum roll. What's going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to talk about actual hair products. I normally don't do this because I don't like the idea of like influencing people to spend money when they don't need to. And I know that I'm easily influenced by targeted ads on Instagram, etc. as you're gonna learn in this video. A month and a half ago, my hair went from looking really good on a regular basis to looking like super duper dry. And then instead of being practical and thinking, okay, well you're swimming in salt water like every other day and wetting your hair, and then like putting your hair in a messy ponytail, your wet hair, wearing a baseball hat. I've been teaching more spin classes so like I'm just not taking as good care of my hair and I'm just shampooing my hair more often. And like I know better than that. I know that shampooing my hair more often is going to make my hair more dry. But I just get into these weird habits where I don't pay as close attention to how I'm styling my hair. And I end up shampooing my hair more, swimming in salt water, doing all this crap. My hair got dry. And at the same time, I'm getting all of these targeted ads for these bond repair over the counter hair product lines and I was influenced <laughs> by Instagram and I spent a bunch of money and so I'm going to get right into what I bought that was my cell phone and I'm not editing this video because I don't have time um, my son is baseball practice but I bought the whole Shea Moisture Bond Repair line and then I bought this really expensive Redken Bond Repair line and I bought a bunch of other stuff and that is the stuff that I'm going to talk about today. Um, my hair today is styled using the new stuff that I really loved. Um, and my hair went from being super dry looking to looking really healthy. I find it almost looks longer. It is so like touchable, yet I have curl definition. It is the end of the day, people. So I worked all day. I went to work. I worked in an office. And then I came home, picked up my kids, went fed chicken, so I've been like outside in the wind. I, this was not my chicken feeding outfit, but this is my chicken feeding hair. Um, but I came home and threw this dress on and just like sat down to, to make this video. And so this is a good representation of what my hair has been like lately. And I attribute a lot of how great my hair looks to some of these new products. Okay, so that's what I'm going to get into. Okay, so the first product line that I bought was the Shea Moisture Bond Repair line, and I bought everything except for the oil. So I bought the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, and the hair mask. I'm going to show you those now. I'll start with the shampoo and conditioner. Um, these are silicone-free. It says Bond Repair on them. One thing that I learned through A, purchasing these products, I kind of learned this after the fact, and by watching other YouTubers reviews, like YouTubers who are actual hairstylists and actually know what they're talking about. Um, what I learned was that the, what do they call it? The Shea Moisture Hydroplex Infusion. That's what the active ingredient um, is supposed to be. Um, what I learned is that it's very different from an actual bond repair. So like much different than Olaplex or something that you can get uh, at the hairdresser. This repairs hydrogen bonds which are bonds that are temporarily or sorry that are temporary anyway so like every time you wet your hair you break the hydrogen bonds in your hair and then when your hair dries the hydrogen bonds um, basically come back together and so I feel as though a lot of companies are getting away with saying that their products repair bonds because they repair hydrogen bonds and without getting too like scientifical, which I can't, without just regurgitating things that I've heard from other hairstylists and from other people on YouTube. Olaplex and the true like bond repair treatments that are more expensive, they actually repair disulfide bonds, which are those bonds that are broken when your hair is damaged by heat or bleach or chemicals or whatever. And so that can like restore some of those bonds supposedly, like I, I really don't know for sure because I don't know that much about chemistry and hair, but they are supposed to repair those permanent or semi-permanent 
breaks in your disulfide bonds or your permanent like hair bonds and therefore repair damaged structure in your hair. Okay? So this, even though before I used it, I kind of found out that maybe the word bond repair is a little loosey-goosey, um, I was still excited because I loved the smell of it. I like Shea Moisture as a company. They were about 15 bucks a thing, and I got four things, so it was about $60. A little bit expensive, but, you know, not crazy. And I was just so excited to come on here and make a video about this line of products that all are matchy-matchy that I really liked. This is the shampoo. It's the Shea Moisture Amla Oil Bond Repair Shampoo with Restorative Hydroplex Infusion. Four-step four system rebuilds broken hair bonds and achieves six times stronger hair, sulfate-free and color safe. I loved the shampoo. The shampoo smells amazing. It smells like a warm vanilla, like a spiced vanilla, but it's not like super overpowering. I loved the smell of the shampoo. I loved using the shampoo. So it lathered a little more than I'm used to, but it lathered nicely. The shampoo felt moisturizing. The shampoo detangled my hair. Like I was like, whoa, if everything else in the lineup is this good, this is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to make a video. My hair's not going to look dry. It's going to look so good. Anyway, it kind of stopped at the shampoo. When I got to the conditioner, and this is the conditioner, I'm not going to pump it into my hand because I have too many things to go through and not enough paper towels or towels near me. This is the conditioner. It's the Omla Oil Bond Repair Conditioner with Restorative Hydroplex Infusion. Anyway, when you pump this out, not going to do it, so thick. It's like a super heavy-duty, heavy conditioner. So again, I'm pumping it in my hand thinking like, oh, this is going to be so great. I put it in my hair and I left it in for the, I think it says three to five minutes or three minutes. Anyway, three minutes. I left it in, zero slip, zero. Like my hair felt more tangly than when I was shampooing it. And then I'm kind of thinking, oh, maybe it's absorbing into my hair and like working its magic. And maybe this isn't supposed to have slip and that's why you're supposed to use the mask and the leave-in and all that. The Bond Repair Mask was an okay hair mask. It smells really good and it made my hair feel moisturized afterwards. It had a little bit of slip, didn't dry my hair out. If you were just buying one thing and you wanted to like try it out, the mask was not too bad on its own or used with other products that I normally use. But to use like the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in and the mask was a hair disaster. This is the leave-in. This is the Amla Oil Bond Repair uh, leave-in conditioner. Same jar, same consistency as my very favorite leave-in, or what was my favorite leave-in up until this point, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in. The big difference between this leave-in and that leave-in at first was that this smells amazing, and the leave-in that I really like smells super weird. It smells like play-doh and like walnuts or something like it's it's gross but I loved it so much that I used it anyway the problem with this one is that it's not quite as moisturizing that was still okay because the one that I like if I use too much it's like too too moisturizing and so I thought oh maybe this is a little lighter this might be perfect and it smells amazing the problem was that it left fine white flakes in my hair and I know that it was this and not anything else because I've been using these products like kind of standalone with some other things um, and this made my hair flaky. And so I don't even really recommend this. I did like the shampoo. I did like the hair mask if you were buying one thing if you wanted to try the shampoo or the hair mask. Um, I think that would be totally fine. But as like a whole lineup of products, ultimately I was disappointed and my hair looked super dry. It just... The whole line, after the first day, even the first day was like problematic, but at the end of it all, after kind of trying it a little bit with different products for a couple of weeks, this whole line just made my hair really dry and like kind of hard and lifeless. I found the curls underneath, and like my hair underneath is the hair that's the least exposed to heat. I don't have any blonde highlights in it. I know you guys are thinking you don't have any blonde highlights anywhere, Susie. But I actually do. I have a ton of blonde highlights. I had been wearing my hair really light for the last couple of years. And then I just have like dark hair color over it. So like all of this hair is all highlighted. I diffuse it a little bit more than I should. 
this is the hair that I really wanted to help with. The underneath part wasn't so bad. It made my underneath like really healthy hair, maybe the curl pattern a little bit tighter, and then the top damaged part of my hair looked way worse. And I think I have a video clip of that. My hair is so much more ringlety than it normally is. And I mean, my hair is curly, but like look at how bouncy and ringlety my hair is. Now the problem is with the part of my hair that is actually damaged. So the top section of my hair, so like this part of my hair, I have a bunch of layers. There's a ton of highlights in it. I heat style it sometimes. And so this part of my hair is the part of my hair that doesn't really look all that great unless I'm really careful about how I style it and what I use to style it. And I would say that this part of my hair, which is the part of my hair that I want to use some kind of like a bonding agent or something to help correct all of the damage that I've done, this part of my hair hates this line. Oh man, it actually feels really good. And it looks pretty good on camera. Um, but this part of my hair is really dry in spots. Over time it just got drier and drier and drier. So then I was all like down in the dumps because I wasted a bunch of money on hair products. So I went and spent a bunch more money. I bought this line of products. I googled like silicone free curly hair products or something and this came up. And this is the Redken Acidic Bonding Curls. And it says that it improves your curl pattern. I was really excited to try this. I've used Redken products in the past when I wasn't, uh, you know, following that no silicone curly girl method type um, hair routine. And I love Redken products, especially when I used to heat style my hair like all soft. Oh, I used to love that one. And, um, Redken Extreme when my hair was bleached blonde. Like I just loved those shampoos and conditioners and products. And so I was excited to try something by Redken. The bad news is that I bought four different products in this line. So I bought shampoo, conditioner, the gel, because I was out of gel, and the curl cream, okay? Each one of these things was $40. So like, $160 worth of hair products. That's a lot of money to me to spend on hair products. Some of you probably don't even have that much money to spend on hair products. And some of you might be able to find <laughs> that much money to spend on hair products, but it's a lot of money. And for those of you who are like richy richy and you have tons of extra money, you're gonna be really happy about this hair review because these products were awesome. Like, so great. The shampoo smells great. It has like a fresh, clean scent, not super overpowering. It detangled my hair a little bit. The conditioner, I left it in for three minutes. It didn't have a ton of slip, but it had some slip. And then the curl cream and the gel together. It was probably the best first impression I ever had from hair products. And then I've been using them for mm, about three weeks to a month now and they have not disappointed. So my hair looks more moisturized than it normally does, I find anyway. It feels fantastic. It's very movable, but my curls tend to retain their shape, and that's why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, like I worked all day, and then I went and fed chickens, and my son has baseball practice. Like at the end of the day, I find my hair still looks curly, and then my hair is so great when I wake up in the morning, and I still have volume. Like I have so much more volume than I normally have when I let my hair air dry. And then for like the end of the day and like being busy and not just being in my house and shooting a YouTube video, my hair is pretty frizz free. Like I'm gonna have some frizz. I normally can't tell in the viewfinder unless I look really close, but some frizz does not bother me at all. I like to have the curl definition and I want my hair to look healthy and I want to move away from what my hair looked like when I first started all this. Like, I want my hair to not look too producty, And that's exactly what I got. Now, the only thing that I used outside of this line... Do I have anything else I want to tell you about it? I don't. I just... 
I just loved it. I just don't think that I will spend that much money again because I know I'm going on and on and on about how good my hair looks, but like it doesn't look like day and night better from the old hair where my whole hair routine costs like 40 or $50, right? I hate promoting it because I loved it so much. So yeah, I told you the bad news was that it was so expensive. The good news is that I loved it. It's the first time in a long time I loved an entire line. I'm doing a terrible job of reviewing this because I'm not really talking about the individual products. But again, I talked about the shampoo. The conditioner had slip. It was thick. It was moisturizing. This curl cream, not sticky at all. Very creamy. Very similar to that Cantu curl cream that I really like. The bottle is completely full. The bottles are good quality. This uh, gel is a little bit sticky when you apply it, but it is not crunchy or crispy and it has enough hold and my hair still has bounce. I don't get any flakes when I sleep on my hair. Um, no complaints. The only thing I used other than these products is this. And this is going to be Shea Moisture redeeming themselves. So this is new. And again, my leave-in conditioner stinks. <laughs> And so I'm trying to find something that I can, you know, promote to you guys without talking about the smell of it so much. So this leave-in conditioner is one by them. This was $25. And I hope that this goes on sale eventually because I find that to be a little bit pricey. This one is the Sugar Cane Extract and Meadow Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment with Marshmallow Root. Okay? Or Marshmallow as I calls it. They say mallow. I says mellow. Anyway... This leave-in is awesome. It comes in a spray bottle. You can't really spray it and apply it to your hair in a mist. And it's because it's very thick. It's a similar consistency to like the Jamaican black castor oil uh, leave-in and the one I just showed you. It's a thicker leave-in conditioner. So the spray is just to spray it in your hand. Like it sprays like a very direct spray. I think that was a good way to show it. Oh, I hate to waste this. Um, so you have to spray it into your hands and rub your hands together. I was like, oh, that was a little weird. But I prefer that to the jar, which sits in my shower, gets hairs in it, and I have to scoop it out. Like, I do find this, like, a little bit better for storage. And I just find it's overall, like, one of the best leave-ins I've ever used. Do you need to go and spend $25 on this? No, you don't. But if you're in the market for a new leave-in and you see it or it's on sale or you're curious, I really like this. There was no flakes. It's silicone-free. Um, the scent is so light that when I first used it, I was like convinced that there was no scent, but I think that it's because I was in the shower and I had other shampoos and stuff in there with me. Um, but it's a very light scent and I really loved it. And this is really great to solve, uh, my summer problems and my summer problem or problems is that I swim constantly. So I have a pool, it's salt water. My kids are in it. I have little kids. My kids don't want me in there and just, like, not get my hair wet and, like, walk around like this. <laughs> like, I'm in there swimming and splashing and having fun with my kids. And my hair gets soaked. And when I get out, I just spray this in my hands and run it all through my hair and scrunch my hair. I might throw some mousse or something in there. And then my hair honestly dries looking pretty friggin' fantastic, in my opinion. And normally my hair is horrible in the summer, but um, this is uh, helping me a lot. The other thing, and you're just going to, I think some of you are going to be a little sad, but a lot of you have been telling me like that I should be staying away from my favorite gel, which is the BioTerra gel in the summer because it has a lot of glycerin in it. And over this like month and a half or so, I ran out of my gel and I've been using some of these new things that I purchased. And what I did realize is that... Um, it does cause a little bit of frizz. Not so much frizz that I won't repurchase it. It's just such a good value and it comes in a liter container and I'm not afraid of frizz and I feel like the overall look of my hair is still really good. And so it's not that I won't purchase it ever again, but I do now feel like if I could find a similar gel that came in a liter container that was like economical like that wasn't like 40 some dollars for a tube I think I might consider switching still love it but uh, I'm not completely convinced now that it's the best gel in the whole universe and so that's gone down to number two in my all-time favorite hair products list and my new number one favorite product drumroll 
is this. Um, and this is, you can get this at the drugstore. I've been using this for seven years. This one, the top fell off it because I dropped it on the floor and I still managed to get it out by squeezing it with my two fingers like this. I broke a nail doing this the other day, but it was worth it. Um, if I have no gel, if I have no styler, if I just use mousse, I use it in my wet hair getting out of the shower and then I use it again when my hair is about halfway dry. Um, and this has a lot of uh, polyquaternium or polyquats in it. It makes my hair look shiny and defined and it's relatively inexpensive. Um, and so this might be like my all-time favorite hair product. Then the gel. And then I'm going to say that it's this new Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, the one I just showed you in the spray bottle. The only reason I'm not ranking that up higher is because I feel like there's other products that give me almost the same result that are cheaper. And it's 25 bucks, and I find that a lot. The only other products I want to mention before I wrap this video up is other go-to products that I still grab after all these years are the Cantu Curl Activator Cream. And then the other thing that I use is I have some shampoo bars. I feel like that's that one little thing that I do that's not in my life, but I mean like as far as my hair routine goes, that's a little bit more environmentally conscious. And I like supporting some of these small companies that make the bar and I love the results. So the one that I've been using lately is by a company called High End Hippie. And I'm going to link that below. I also have a shampoo bar that I've used by a company called Capra Cadabra. They make shampoo and conditioner bars. High End Hippie makes shampoo and conditioner bars. I've used the shampoo and the conditioner. I really like it all. I really do. There's part of me that is just likes applying a conditioner out of a bottle. But again, that's me looking for the convenience factor. Shame on me. And so if you're somebody who prefers a shampoo and conditioner bar, please try these. I think they're great. They smell fantastic. They keep your hair really soft. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to say in this video. Those are not the only products I've tried over the last couple of years, but it's most of it. Prior to that, I had a YouTube channel that was very active, same channel, but I was just more active on it. And I tried so many products. So it takes a lot to impress me. And I never do first impressions anymore because I do know that some products work great the first time you use them and then after a couple of weeks they dry your hair out or vice versa. The first time you use it, your hair doesn't respond well. And then when you use them for a bit of time, you realize uh, how good the products actually are. The last thing that I will encourage you to do, please, and thank you, is that if you have tried any of these products, please share your experience in the comment section below. If you like this video, you could give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a big old thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.